Greetings and welcome to the Cesar E. Chavez School Annual Multicultural Fair. This year, due to the pandemic, our fair is virtual. Our teachers and students have been working diligently to turn our school into an international museum. So join us as we take a walk through visit of several countries around the world. Thank you for joining us. Hi, my name is Lola. I'm from Mrs. Murphy's class. We do pictures from my family. We come from many different countries. In pre-K, we learn about our different families. Hello, my name is Alaya. I'm from Miss Cohen's kindergarten class. Here are some facts about Italy. Italy is shaped like the boo. Pasta, pizza, and dorado come from Italy. Italy's flag is the same color as Mexico. Rome is the capital of Italy. Ciao is hello in Italian. A Ferrari is made in Italy. The Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. These are some facts that we learned about Italy. We had fun learning. Hello, my name is Aiden. I'm from Mrs. Rice class. Italy has good Italian food to eat. They have pizza, gelato, and pasta. Our class learned about the United States of America. We learned about the sim symbols that represent our country. We learned about the bald eagle, Statue of Liberty, and the presidents. Enjoy our project. Hello, Hello, our, our names, names are Luna and Matthias. We are from Ms. Tubbard's first grade class. We learned about the Statue of Liberty and the flag, I mean, and the bald eagle and the Liberty Bell. Some facts we learn about the flag are that there are 50 stars that stand for the 50 states. Also, there are 13 stripes. 
some fact we learned about the Statue of Liberty is it was a gift from France and it is a symbol of freedom. Go USA! Hi, my name is Guillermo. I'm from Mr. Murphy's second grade class and we learned about Mexico. Mexico's flag is green, white, and red. There is an eagle is perched on a cactus. The eagle is holding a snake in its beak and talons. Hi, I am Isabella. I learned that tacos, burritos, nachos, and salsa are traditional Mexican foods. Soccer and baseball are popular in Mexico. Lacrosse has recently been introduced and a national team has been created. Welcome to the second grade Multiculture Night featuring Mexico. The second grade classes learned about Mexico for Multiculture Night. Here are some of the things they learned. Welcome to Australia. Australia is a continent, country, and an island. The capital of Australia is Canberra. Australia is made up of six states and two territories. Australia is called the land down under because it is below the equator. The first people to live in Australia are called Aborigines. They are like our North Americas. Today, they're are still aborigines in Australia. They live by hunting and gathering. What do you know about the Australian flag? The Australian flag was first used in 1901. Its colors are red, white, and blue. There are six, star six stars that represent the six states. There are many places to visit in Australia. The Sydney Opera House is located in Sydney, Australia. It took 17 years to build the Opera House. It contains five main performance places, a, radio, a recording studio, five restaurants, and four souvenir shops. The Great Barrier Reef is located off the shores of northeastern Australia. It contains 1,500 species of fish, 360 types of coral, 30 types of whales and dolphins, and much more. It is a protected site. Ayers Rock is one, of, is one of the oldest rocks on Earth. It formed over 500 million years. It was made by sand piling up on the bottom of the ocean. There are many interesting animals found in Australia. Kangaroos do not eat meals. They eat the, in the morning and rest during the day. Baby kangaroos are called joeys. Female kangaroos are, have a pocket where the joeys lies. The Tasmanian devil is either black or brown. They 
have bad eyesight but a strong sense of smell. They feed a dead animal yuck. Wannabe, wombats are very shy animals. They, they like to live alone. They rest during the day, come, come out at night eat, to eat. Thanks for visiting Australia. We learned about May 5th, which is Children's Day. This holiday celebrated in Japan during Golden Week. Many families hang cart banners outside their homes. The cart fish symbolizes bravery, strength, and determination. We learned about Japanese folk tales and learned about onis. These ogres or trolls often represent the evil character in a story. During the Setsuban festival in February, people threw roasted soybeans to drive out the onis. We learned about Japanese poetry called haiku. Haikus are short poems usually written about the nature. They follow a 575 syllable pattern. Japan consists of four main islands and has over 4,000 small islands. It is located in East Asia. Rice and noodles are the two main ingredients of Japanese meals. Fish and seafood are used in many Japanese dishes. Sushi is Japan's most famous dish. Japanese eat their food with chopsticks. Take a look at the picture to see something we learned about. Hello, my name is Stephanie from 5th grade. The 5th grader studied France. We learned many facts and did many activities. Some facts are famous landmarks, such as the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre. Another fact we learned about are foods, such as crepes and baguettes. Last, we learned about some words in French. La canapé means the couch, and bonjour means hello. We got to sample some crepes and croissants. We also created French passports and transformed ourselves into French characters using arts and crafts. Hi, my name is Michaelia Williams from class 6-2, and I'm going to be talking about vase history. Vase history. Greece has large amounts of clay. Pottery became a common material used in art. By the year 1000 BC, Athens had become one of the leading cities in making pottery in the world. The Greeks believed that the goddess Athena invented the potter's wheel. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Sanchez, and I will be talking about red versus black. The Greeks made two basic kinds of pot pottery. One was the red figured, and the other was the, was the black figured. Can you tell which is which? Hi, my name is Aurora Matos, and I'll be talking about the pots were both functional and beautiful. Pots came in all sorts of shapes and sizes, depending on their purpose, and were often beautifully decorated with scenes from daily life. Sometimes these scenes reflect what the pots were used for. Hi, I'm Christian Rivera, and I'm going to be talking about pots present purpose. These pots are important because they tell us so much about how life was in Athens in other Asian Greek cities. Hi, my name is Dimitri Willings and I'm going to be telling you about storytelling through vases. The Greeks used their vases sometimes as a form of teaching like a picture book and a way of preserving their mythology. My name is Michaela Nieves from 6-1. Our country for Multicultural Day is Greece. During this time, we learned about all the Greek gods, architecture, philosophy, and so much more. We even made our own Greek vases. Stop by the fourth floor and take a trip to Greece. Hi, my name is Evelyn Garcia from 7th grade. The 7th graders had put together a PowerPoint. 
about Scotland. Scotland's traditional music, also known as folk music. Scotland is world renowned for its traditional music. Its origins can be traced back thousands of years. Today, the music remains just as popular and culturally relevant as, as it has ever been. Just think of the Grand Old Opry in Nashville, Tennessee. Hello, my name is Steve Guzman from 8th grade, and today I'm going to be talking about Scotland and Yonkers. In February 1888, a Scottish immigrant named John Reed and his friends found a place in Yonkers to settle in and play a round of golf. A few moments later, they decided to open their own golf course, the first in the United States, located at the present-day Gorton High School. They called themselves the Apple Tree Gang. Official name was St. Andrews Golf Club. The club is the oldest golf club in America and is still open today in Hastings, New York. John Reid brought, brought the sport from his country, Scotland, and established it in the United States. Hi, this is Albert from Miss Plunker class. The student Miss Plunker class learned about Mexico to speak Spanish. In Mexico, the capital of Mexico is Mexico City. Thank you to the wonderful staff, students, and parents who helped us out to do another great event. Thank you for Mrs. Delaney for allowing us the platform to do an excellent event. Mrs. Wright, thank you for all you're doing, spearheading the committee. Woo!